recording. All right, so we're halfway through shooting the exploding propane segment, and this is just before the big finale where we want to set up the chain reaction, as you put it, Hollywood movie magic style. Teach us the ways of the behind the scenes. Yeah, what All is right. this hellish device? This you hellish have device. Here? Anytime you need fire, you got to have your four ingredients, right? You're going to have to have fuel, something that burns, right? You're going to have to have oxygen, which is also important to the crew. You're going to have to have heat, and you're going to have to have a chemical reaction. So we've built some equipment that allows us to bring those things together in a portable package that's deployable when and where we want. It gives us a controllable effect and creates exactly the right amount of fire, which is, of course, the most you can get. Right. Well, so, so, so talk us through. So th this device here provides air in the container here, a valve which holds the air in, the ability to pressurize this air, and then to release that pressurized air down through this pipe and coming back up through this large container. We fill this with gasoline. It holds exactly a gallon of gas. Oh my gosh, just and straight up liquid open, gas. Liquid gas, yeah. And then, uh, but liquid gas, you know, will only burn on the surface. Right. So we want to see all of the gas burning at once, which means that we get, need to get all of the gasoline mixed with oxygen at the same time. And the way we do that is by atomizing it, by pushing it up into the air under high pressure. Do, do you know what this is? This is the same, a, a better version of what I do with the fire blast. You have the ignition source, Absolutely. you have the flame out there, yep. you atomize it as, and, and it mixes with the oxygen from your exhalation, and you get this, this cloud. So the, the, your exhalation is providing the propulsion. Correct. And then the oxygen's being scavenged out of the air. Right. So this, the same thing here. Uh, I've got air in there, but that's not the air that's creating that's the reaction. That's the air that's pushing that's, out. That's the push, right? This is basically a big blowgun, and the, the, the spit wad is gasoline. Wow. So depending on how much pressure we put in here, that'll allow us to control how much atomization we get and the height of the fireball. So does this mean we're going to have to time your shot? Because if everything goes according to plan, you're going to shoot. That will erupt in a fireball. And, and then, trigger this. Yeah. Right. And so that'll give uh, Charlie, our pyrotechnician, uh, the right amount of timing. Yeah, it'll give him some flexibility because this explodes, then that explodes. Here, look, hold this. This whole thing feels very <laughs> Fury Road. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I need a guitar, or, or like, we're gonna strap Brian to the front of one of these <laughs> rusted cars. Blind me. <laughs> yeah. So, so you really are, you're just keeping one thumb on, you're waiting one for the other, on, it's and just wait. the battery. Right. And the moment yep. you see the pop, you're gonna go. Yeah, all this is, this is just a way to provide current to, this, to the solenoid valve. Wow. And, and just in 30 years of experience, I found that the less technology you have between you and the effect, That's right. the more likely it is to work properly. So we don't even have the possibility of a switch failing here, right? because we're just gonna touch the wires to the battery. So uh, you know, the last thing you want is, you know, Tom Cruise diving off one side, Vin Diesel coming off the other, and then the tower doesn't explode. <laughs> yes, right? exactly. Somebody, embarrassing gets, somebody and, loses and, their job. Yeah, <laughs> right. So uh, you mentioned the solenoid. So this thing, once it gets juiced, there's something that just creates a right. spark? No, the solenoid valve is just a valve that's opened and closed with electricity. Got it. So it allows us to open this valve without having to stand here and open it manually. Got it. And plus, opening it manually, you're going to start losing it. Right. Like you exactly. get a percussive pop. That's exactly right. Just, so you how, want instantaneous how, pressure release. How many times did it take you to figure out you couldn't stand there and open and close it? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be anywhere near this thing. Like yeah. that means at least six feet away. I'm nervous right now. Yeah. Uh, well, we haven't put the gas in yet. I don't and, even want to look at it wrong. And the gas you're using, is there a particular grade of gasoline that you like? The cheapest gas. Yeah. And actually, I found out that the cheapest gas is actually the best gas because it's always the freshest. Most people price shop gasoline. People who buy the cheap gas are buying the gas that has been depleted most often, right? Got if it. If you're looking at the expensive gas, it might be sitting at the gas station for two or three weeks before they finish that tank. But the store that has the cheapest gas, that probably had replaced it that morning or the day before. Now I might... So fresh gas is actually always the best gas. Huh. So I would think that the cheaper gas would have more impurities because that yellow you see is actually carbon heating up, right? Right, so we want that. Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to have an explosion go off and we see a little blue flame. Sure. Right, unless we're cooking with it at, at, at a camp out, right? What we really want is that inefficient flame. We want some of those carbons from the hydrocarbon fuel getting loose, not combining with an oxygen molecule to make carbon monoxide, not combining two to make CO2. We just want that pure carbon in the air. Got it. And we want it hot so that it glows. And when it glows, it's going to be red or it's going to be yellow, depending on the heat. 
Got and it. That's what we're looking for on set, as well as a lot of smoke. So to wrap my mind around what needs to happen, this is this total Rube Goldberg, and it's just everybody working together. And that's not even bringing up the fact that we're trying to shoot all this live. We got sound and sure. video and all that. But we're going to shoot a propane tank next to sparklers. Mm -hmm and at the same time, release a volatile mix of fuel and air. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right, let's, I, I just want to see well. <laughs> We're. I'm glad we're very far Blush away shield. over there. You hang on to that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour gas in here. All right. Oh, okay. And uh, don't, re don't uh, let the wires and the batteries come together. Yeah, your job is to not do what you want. Yeah, there you go, two keys. Right, so <laughs> what you do is you twist those wires together hand the battery to somebody else and twist the wires together. Just one twist, that's called shunting the wires. And that makes sure that accidental spark can't get in there. Oh, because static electricity could be a thing. Theoretically. Theoretically. I, I've never in 30 years seen static set off anything. Sure. Wires shunted. But, you know, <laughs> that's one of those things where it's free to do it. And if it makes you theoretically safer, that's safer. Yeah, got it. All right, and then always remember when you're setting this kind of stuff up, Take the gasoline away. far away from yeah. where you were working. Boy, it really is. It's just up to the brim. That looks intense. Just a you know giant tube of gasoline, as one does. Yeah, this device. It... That uh, that smell instantly takes me back to being five year olds uh, uh, riding jet skis with my dad. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because they were always breaking. He had to open it up and and flush the carburetor or what whatnot. I don't Makes know. me think of something my lawyer advised me not to talk about on camera. <laughs> For this stunt, I guess we'll mm -hmm. call it what it is. Special effect. Special, yeah. So the difference between stunts and special effects are that stunts are the part that the people do. Got it. And special effects is the part that science does. Got it. So you often have a mixture, right? If you had to run and dive away from this, you'd be the stuntman diving away from the special effect. Got it. So we've seen, every time we've shot this, it's reacted differently, but we've seen it rocket into the air, we've seen it split apart and just sit right there, and we've seen it come tumbling out each time it tries to pull against all this. So are we doing anything different to keep it down this time? So we're gonna lock it in there, remove the cap here so we can get a good grip, put weights on top of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't make it very far last time. So yeah, I no. Feel, I feel it, pretty good about it. It was the least of the scary times. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, all right. Varying degrees of terrifying. Right, so we'll get a, a better bite on this. And if, you know, and, and on set we would take a piece of four inch pipe and we would, you know, crimp the top and the bottom and weld it to a 500 pound base. And right, right. This is the modern that, road. That we could do, <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I have it there. Kind of locked yeah. down pretty good. And then I'm setting the weight on top of it. And then try to duck that off to the side. And then we're going to have to pre-light this because it's got to have its own pilot light. Okay. Oh, okay. So Charlie, you're going to self cue. Yes, sir. Okay. When you see the fireball. If you don't see a fireball, you don't do anything. All right. So then next, okay, next, so uh, we should probably get behind the blast shield for this. It's going to be a mushroom cloud. So you're going to have about uh, a 15 foot column of narrow fire and then it's going to open out and then you're going to have about an 80 foot bit of fire that's about 20 feet wide and then it's gonna turn into a big black smoke ring. So you have to be either wide to start with or be ready to tilt up right away. The gasoline is lit, he's lighting the sparklers now. This is really happening? Yeah. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Action in three, two, one. Wow! One. <laughs> Did you feel that blast of heat? <laughs> it felt like just a, a, a lightning flash. Woo! That was... Wow. That was incredible. 